Today I'm going to show a couple of examples of different types of crossovers. In the first example, uh, the crossover is actually fused to the back of the uh, connection pad from the speaker. What you're hearing is the signal directly from the receiver before the crossover has taken place. If I put it to the other side of the capacitor, it's filtering out all of the low sounds just so that the high sounds are coming through. In the next example, it's a more complex crossover. It separates the lows, so only the lows go to the low speaker and the highs. Only the highs go to the speaker. If this were a tweeter, it would be producing it much better. Here's an example of a four-way crossover. Right now we're listening to the signal coming into the crossover, but it's going directly back out to the speaker. So this is all the frequencies put together. Here is where the crossover has separated just the low frequency sounds from 20 hertz to 600. This is a higher frequency range. This is where the crossover has separated everything between 600 and 1000 hertz. This is a higher frequency range again. Everything from 1000 hertz to 3500. And this is where it's giving everything from 3500 hertz up to 22,000. So here it is back with all four or piped through a proper speaker 